And we are back. Thanks for sharing a cup with us this morning, TNT. Continuing in football mode. Uh, such a pleasure having Denise Dabri on set with us. Uh, Nestle Milo and Barcelona FC coming together. And uh, this tournament during the summer is expected to be a fantastic tournament uh, with the opportunity for three children, we understand, with their parents to head off to Barcelona. I will go in the suitcase if I think I need to. <laughs> I have with me no one else than Terry Fennick. I have on my Barcelona tie this Very morning, good. Terry. Yeah, official Barcelona tie. Um, and Terry Fennick is has been here for the last 18 years. 18 years, years in oh, January. Oh my goodness, you're hating it, aren't you? I don't like it at all. You don't like it at all. All 18 years. <laughs> And he is the man that is behind all the footballing matters, the technical matters with regards to this tournament. So we thought we would have Terry on, pick his brain a bit. Um, Terry, well, this is a very interesting tournament. I know you believe in youth development. And Absolutely. It's a skills tournament. Tell us what, uh, I mean, for the parents listening who may want to bring their children. It's 7 to 12. Yes. What, is, what, what well, are they expecting? First of all, I mean, this is a magnificent opportunity for so many youths. Mm -hmm. And recognising that Nestle, the Nestle brand, are about health and wellness. Football Factory, my company, Football Factory Foundation now actually, we are about development of young people, bringing them together to work with a wonderful brand like Barcelona. I mean, this is a team, a club side, that have dominated club football, world club football, for the last decade or more. Fantastic players, and Messi, and Xavi, and Iniesta, and all of them wonderful stars. They all started somewhere, mm -hmm. and this is an opportunity for the kids of Trinidad and Tobago to come forward and be tested with several skill sets to see whether they can qualify and win an opportunity to go to Barcelona, see these top stars, see this wonderful football club, and see the history of Spanish football in here. Yeah. So the, it's 7 to 12 years old, um, that's the age group. Yeah. Is it that they're going to be taken through the rudiments of the game? Um, and and how, how, are you, how are you going to be judging? Because, yes. uh, I mean, that's a hard task. Right? Of that's course it is. It's 500 children yeah. each week, and yeah. then only three out of all those children yeah. are already coming forward. Yeah, that's a, Joel, yeah. it, it would be impossible to mm -hmm. have all of them kids, 500 kids, yeah playing in games. It's just too many games. Yeah, yeah. And then you run the risk of transparency and parents and kids. Why is he in there instead of my son, my boy? Yeah, yeah. You have all of that coming. Yeah. You know Trinidad yeah. as well as I do. Yeah. And they, it won't be easy. So what we've done is we've narrowed it down to three skill sets. And that will be control, dribbling and passing. Right. And the kids will get an opportunity to play games, but that will be more towards the end of the tournament where, where we then be adding up points because with all the skill sets they can they can get a, a maximum of 50 points per skill set right. everything is against the clock so it's not just their skill sets that are at, you know being tested here it's also their mentality under because, a little time pressure correct yeah, yeah, under yeah. pressure from time and they've yeah. got everyone else watching them seeing mm -hmm. how they do mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so the competition will be tense. Nice, nice, nice. Um, you are the sole judge, judge, jury. No, I'm not. <laughs> what we'll do is we'll have teams of coaches right. and, and scorers will be with every test. Right. So the kids will run through it and they will get their scores at the end of every test. As they finish the competition, they will all get a printout, a readout, this is how you've done. So it's as transparent as we can be. Nice. And, uh, and then you select, I understand, you select 50 from each week. Yes. And they go forward to the final. To the final. On July 29th, it is. Correct. Yeah. All right, great. Um, Terry, I, I want to thank you for coming by, but I first need to just pick your brain a bit. Football Factory, yeah. uh, you've been focused on that in terms of development. You're very, very strong with developing youth players yeah. here in Trans Tobago. Tell me a little bit about how that is going to be. Well, it, it's, um, it's a youth. It's a social development program mm -hmm. through the power of football. Everybody loves their football, they all support their teams, whether it's here in Trinidad, Premiership, wherever in the world. So what we've captured is, you know, Joel, with all due respect, there's a lot of troubles and worries for the kids of the future. We're looking on Facebook every week to see problems at schools, and it's not just boys, it's girls these days, there's all sorts of things going on that I disagree with entirely. My football factory is about a host of life skills. It's your discipline, it's your communication, how you interact with other people, all of that. 
And we do that through the power of football. Kids come and enjoy it, but we do several other things. They're regularly involved in quizzes. We have uh, off the map, uh, we'll take them to the beach now and again. We'll take them different places. Only last week we went to um, Champions League final. We took them all to Trotters and they had their chicken and fries, yeah. their ice cream. But it was an outing whereby we're looking at kids interacting with each other and recognising that um, within the 200 kids that come Tuesday, Thursday and Saturday. We have affluent kids from West and we have kids from the block, Lavent Hill, Morva, Carinage, wear their shirts, they come together and you cannot tell the difference. Wow. That is us as a social development programme bringing these kids together. Through football. Through football, yeah. it's what I love. The, the, the better kids have got the opportunity to go on. Um, we, we've actually, over the years now, 67 kids we've got on football scholarships to the United States. And over the 18 years that I've been here, I've got 87 kids professional football contracts overseas. So I know that we've done and I've done a, a relatively good job in that respect. But it's not about me, it's not about my coaches, it's really about the kids. Yeah, the football factory. Correct. Excellent. Very um, good stuff. Uh, quick thoughts before we go. Yeah. Trying to big up football. Um, it seems now almost impossible. Mathematically, we probably have yeah. a, a bit of a chance. Uh, but, but the last two games, we've lost. But your thoughts on, on, on the shoring of the team? Well, we needed to get something out of the, yeah. both of the games. We needed three unfortunately points, we didn't, and yeah. we didn't. Yeah. So I think it's very much an uphill task. I can't see that we will make Russia 2018. Yeah. But there was two different sides that I saw against USA. I thought we were poor. And 2-0 really flattered Trinidad and Tobago. It could have been three or four goals, mm -hmm. I thought. Um, Kenwin Jones had a, a, a game-changing opportunity when he hit the crossbar. Them chances have got to go in for you to hang on to something to give you a chance. But I just think we went into the Costa Rica game and recognising, and this is not me knocking Kenwin Jones at all, I think he's done a sterling job for the national side for many years, but with every footballer, you, sometimes your time's up. And we've got some fantastic young kids with great abilities, great natural assets that need to be given a chance. And I, I just think when Kenwin went down injured in the warm-up against Costa Rica, it then get, gave uh, Botswana an opportunity. And this kid is blistering quick. He's strong. His work ethic is tremendous. And all of a sudden, I saw a, an attacking side of Trinidad and Tobago that I've not seen for 18 months, mm. not even under Stephen Hart. I didn't see the intensity, the speed, the running power that we have, which are all natural attributes of Trinidad and Tobago. Mm -hmm. And I thought that was very encouraging. And I think if we can build upon that, which might mean one or two older players taking a back seat, taking a back seat. And mm -hmm. uh, again, in the same game, as much as I was enthused with our running power going forward, I was disappointed that coming off the bench was Carlos Edwards, who again has been a great player, well done Carlos, mm -hmm. but he's 38. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, for me it's got to be young, we, we get that adrenaline rush mm -hmm. when we see youngsters coming off the bench and making a claim, making a state for something that's theirs. Yeah, yeah. And that didn't do it for me with yeah. Carlos, but I think we've got some great you know, natural ability that mm -hmm. needs to be honest. Whatever happens. Russia 2018, the future looks brightish. Well, <laughs> I, I think it's too early to say, to say that. Yeah. It's, for me, like everything, it's about your management and mm -hmm. administration. Mm -hmm. I think the current administration are not doing well. Mm -hmm. we, we are struggling at every national level. Uh, there is a big question mark about individuals that are in positions. And at the end of the day, Joel, it's not about the individual, it's about how good they are at doing the job yeah. and delivering quality. And that's where I would differ from several positions. See it as he sees it. Terry Fennick, ever since I've known him. Thank you very much, my brother. Uh, wishing the project all the best. Nestle, Milo and FC Barcelona. Terry Fennick is the man behind all the technical work uh, taking place in that tournament over the course of July, July 8th, 15th, 22nd. Um, it's at the Hazel Crawford Stadium. 
uh, venue to be announced in Tobago as well as the Atto Boland Stadium. Uh, get registered. We told you all about the registration. Uh, check out the Milo Caribbean page. Uh, just call Nestle TT and they will give you all the information. The grand final on the 29th and three lucky kids will head off to FC Barcelona. Ah. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> we take a short break. We're coming right back. Thank you very much, Jerry.